y'all and welcome to today's video. I am so happy, so excited. Kaleidos sent me their new Alma Viva collection. I have quads, I have blushes, I have new lip formulas, I have this beautiful box with this like super feminine design from Kaleidos that we've been seeing in some of their collections. We are going to go through, we are going to do an eye look, we're going to use the blushes, we're going to swatch everything, I'm going to do lip swatches for y'all. It is going to be a good time, I'm super excited, let's jump into it. <music> Jumping right in, I got this box from Kaleidos. This collection is launching on August 17th. I will put the launch day and time. All the information I can find will be in the description box, but I wanna go through the items in this collection. So let me, let me show you again. We have a box full. Now, if you're new here, I've been loving Kaleidos for years. I think they make some really beautiful stuff. And we've been seeing quads from Kaleidos. We've been seeing different products come, blushes that were yearly favorites for me last year. I really like their lip clays. So to see that we have more blush shades and new lip formulas, I am pretty pumped. So let's, let's kind of like talk about this collection really quickly and then we will apply it to the face. So I have seven new shades in a new formula from Kaleidos. This is the Untamed Glow Glossy Lip Glaze. So I'm gonna show you quickly and up close of the packaging and I wanna show you swatches. I'm definitely going to lip swatch these as well, but I do think hand and arm swatches can be fun and helpful, especially when you're looking at a whole line all together. Now we do have two shades in here that have some shimmer in them, which I love. I love to glow, I love to sparkle, and the rest just look really, really beautiful and glossy. So we'll try all these on the lips. The component feels very, very luxe. It has weight to it. It doesn't feel like super light, you know. It doesn't feel non-luxury. It feels a very luxury. I think the design is super pretty and we do have the shade names and everything on a sticker on the bottom. So we'll definitely try these on the lips. We also have four new shades of the Mono Blushes. This is a favorite blush formula for me. So I was super excited to see more of these, again, with that very like feminine creation design on the front. I'm super into that. So let me show you a close up of these and swatches on the arm as well. Of course, we will use some of these on the face, but I do have to say something that made me so happy about these is there is a sticker on the back now with the shade names. That was like my only complaint about the Kaleidos blushes from before is they didn't have names printed on them. So I was very excited to see that in these like mauve nude blush like line that they put out with this collection, we do have the names printed on them. We still have the same size packaging as the previous ones and we have the nice little mirror in here. But yeah, I mean, swatches for blush aren't always the most helpful, but I still like to do them. I think it can be a nice way to see the tone and everything, but of course we're gonna try these on the face today as well. We also have two new quads. We have Venus Trap, which is this light, cool tone quad. We have four mattes in a beautiful sparkly shade. And then I have Twilight Rush, which is more like grays and purples. Let me show you a close up and swatches of these as well so that you can kind of see how they look. This uh, Twilight Rush does have two mattes, a intense looking like shifty shade that looks like it shifts different colors and it looks like we have a really beautiful intense with sparkle black. So we're going to create an eye look with these and then last but not least we have our mirror. It definitely again has that same design that I'm super into. Extremely cute and feminine. This mirror, so we'll use this today as well. I love a handheld mirror. 
I just, I use it every time I do my makeup. So I'm super excited to have this one. It's not super heavy, so it doesn't, like it's not a lot of work to hold it up, which I enjoy because some handheld mirrors can be so heavy that you don't wanna use them, you don't wanna hold them up. So we're gonna be using this today. I think what we will start out with is the eyes. We will start by creating a look with these quads. I'm gonna use them both together and then we will use the rest of the products. But I do hope you liked seeing the swatches. I'm gonna put down an eyeshadow primer. I'm going to zoom y'all in and we will start off with an eye look. Okay, so I put down my eyeshadow primer. What we're gonna do is mix both of these quads to create a look today. I, like I said, I have been a Kaleidos like lover for years. I love their stuff. I've had a great experience as a customer before I received PR from the brand. So I feel like I know their formulas really well. We are going to mix these two together today. And I'm gonna start off with the Twilight Rush Quad. And we're gonna start with this really beautiful kind of purple leaning gray shade right up here. Okay, so I picked up that on my A501 from BK Beauty. I'm going to make sure there's no creases in my primer. And I'm gonna start off by pressing this shadow right here in my socket. And then once I have it pressed, I'm going to lightly blend. I'm not worried about blending perfectly yet though, cause I am gonna pull in another shade but I just wanna make sure I get all that shadow off my brush into my socket and then I will buff. Okay, I am going to jump over to the Venus Trap Palette. I'm gonna go in with this really pretty, like very cool tone shade, almost like brown, but a little more gray than that. And I'm gonna pick it up on a uh, 209 from BK Beauty and I'm going to just press this under the lower lash line and then I'm going to blend it back and forth like this. I didn't put down any additional eyeshadow primer under my eye so it's just going down on top of like where I have where I have my concealer and powder and everything. So I'm just kind of buffing like this, blending it back and forth. And then what I wanna do is buff out right in here with a lighter shade. So staying in that same quad, I'm gonna grab this really light kind of purple leaning shade right here. This is a matte. I'm gonna grab that on a 211 brush. I'm gonna pick up just a small amount and I'm gonna buff right up on top of where we started with that first shade just to give us a nice blend a little more dimension to the look and i'm going to lightly sweep that on i'm definitely not picking up a lot of products i'm not doing like harsh blending i'm just barely grazing my skin with that shade like i said to give us a little bit of a blend a nice fade make the look have some dimension to it. Okay, we're gonna jump back over to Twilight Rush. I want to use this sparkly black. This looks so pretty. So I'm gonna pick this up on an A504 and it looks like it has some really pretty like shimmery silver sparkle to it. So I'm gonna press this on my lid. I wanna come in yeah, right about there. And I'm just going to blend this out a bit right out here in the outer corner. But right here on the lid, I'm more so packing it on because I want you to be able to see that sparkle. I think it's so cute. And then right out here, I'm just going to blend. So far, every shade I've used is the great quality shadow that I expect from Kaleidos, which is making me so happy. And I kind of like this like shimmery outer corner. I am definitely, definitely into this. 
Okay, next we're gonna go into this beautiful, beautiful purple shifty shade. Let me see if you can kind of see in the mirror maybe the like duochrome shift. It's really pretty, but we're also going to use this lighter purple to buff under the lower lash line. Okay, I've got that light purple gray matte shade and I'm just going to kind of buff that underneath where we put that darker shade on the lower lash line. I'm gonna pull it under and then also out here to give us a nice, beautiful blend, a nice like extra, extra bit of color and dimension. These are like very smoky, very glam quads. I like that we have some purple with these kind of more neutral shades and I'm really hopeful that soon we will have like an all green quad, an all red quad, an all blue quad, something like that from Kaleidos because I feel like they do bold and intense color so well. I mean I love my Escape Pod and Club Nebula and some of their um, oh, I heard Futurism palettes. So I would love to see that in some of these quads. But I also really like how glam and sultry my look is. So I'm gonna grab that purple shimmer duochrome shade. I'm gonna pick it up on my brush. I'm gonna spray my brush with setting spray and then we're gonna put it all over the lid. Okay, so I'm gonna look down into my mirror and I'm going to press this shade on my brush. You see how beautiful that is? That's really gorgeous. I'm gonna press this on first. I'm going to put this all over my lid and when it comes right up against where we put that black shimmer, I'm going to slowly blend. I don't wanna cover it up. I just want to fade that purple into that black. So I press most of the shadow off my brush and then once I have that, I'm going to go back in and then lightly, lightly blend. I feel like if you look from my eye to the mirror, you can see kind of some of that shift from like the purple to the more neutrally shade. It's definitely predominantly purple, but really pretty. Okay, we used all the shades from this quad, the Twilight Rush. So I'm gonna jump back over to Venus Trap. And I think the only shades we haven't used are this mid-tone shade right here and this sparkly shade. So let me grab this beautiful sparkly shade right here on a 209. I'm gonna spray my brush and we're gonna pop this on the inner corner. I, again, just wanted to kind of get a feel for these shadows, see if they're the Kaleidos formula I love. I think these are blending so beautifully. I mean, even if you're not interested in this collection, maybe I can give you some look inspiration with what you have. Maybe you were thinking about this one. I'm really loving my eye look, but I'm gonna spray my brush. We're gonna highlight the inner corner, and I feel like that's just gonna be like, the cherry on top of the look. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this shade right there. That's so pretty. Of course, like this would be beautiful all over the lid as well. And you can definitely do a look with each quad, you know, you don't have to mix them, but that's what I felt like doing today. I wanted to mix them, create a look with both. And I really, really feel good in this. I like the purple with the grays, but I'm going to put on eyeliner, mascara. I'm gonna throw on a false lash and then I'll come back because we still have blush and lip products to play with. Okay, y'all, here is the look with liner. I just put black liquid liner up top. I threw on some lashes and in my waterline, I used my Kaleidos night of creation liner so it's this beautiful like 
blue purple color for a little pop in the waterline but let's play with our blushes I am going to show you the shades of each. So I do have this one right here, very pale, very light. This is Angel Wing. I have the Hot Shot blush. Again, quite light, more nude. I have Pale Rose right here, a little bit deeper than that first one, but still very pale. And then last but not least, I have Pearl Blush. So again, a little bit deeper, but very light. So we're going to see how these show up on my skin tone. And yeah, we will, we'll see. Let's start with Pearl Rose because this looks so very light and I'm curious to see how it's going to be on my skin tone because sometimes blushes can look super light in the pan but they can translate really nicely to the skin. Okay I'm going to use my Kaleidos brush with these. I really like this because it's not big. It's a highlighter brush but I always use it for blush. So let's go into Pale Rose. I know you already saw the swatches on my on my arm but we're going to put them on the face as well so i'm just going to put this right here and it's definitely light it gives a very faint blush on my skin my skin tone is olive warm leaning and i usually buy foundations in the medium tan category so if you're lighter than me, this is probably going to show up a lot more on you. But I'm just going to layer a bit more of this and kind of buff and blend it out. It's very light, but I can see a difference from side to side. So blush, no blush. Blush, no blush. Okay, so this shade that we used over here is a matte. Now I'm gonna go in with Pearl Bliss on the other side. I cleaned my brush off on my Sigma Switch, and this blush does have a little bit of a glow to it, it looks like. It looks like there's maybe a tiny bit of shimmer that will give us a glow, and this, again, is the shade Pearl Bliss. So I'm just going to blush up this side of my face very, very light, not showing up a ton, but it is there and it is giving me a glow. So here we have Pearl Bliss right there. I definitely think this one shows up more probably because it has that more mauve tone, whereas this is more like earth toned but let's layer the other two let's see what happens why not i'm gonna wipe my brush off on my switch and we'll use the other blushes okay i'm gonna pick up this one this is angel wing so a very faint pink and i'm gonna keep it right on top of that blush almost almost like right on top of my cheekbone and then I'm going to blend it. I do think that looks pretty blended together, but it is so light. I think it could be a pretty blush topper though. It looks like this one has a little bit of a faint glow to it as well. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna go in with Hot Shot. Very light again, and I'm going to layer it on top of this blush over here. These are all cool toned blushes. So I'm just gonna put it right on top. I would definitely say for me, my personal preference, the more pinky hues are what I like, but they're all so, so light. But here we have all four blushes on my cheeks. I'm gonna kind of dip into some of the shades and mix a little bit to kind of even out my look, but I did want you to see those on the shade, on, on the cheeks, not just the arm. But I do have a lip mask on. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know I completely emptied out a blue uh, lip mask from Kaleidos. Uh, right now I'm currently using the apple one, which is the more red one. You can see I've used a ton, but I have that on my lips. I'm going to wipe it away and we're going to lip swatch these lip glazes. 
Okay, I'm very excited to try this new formula from Kaleidos. I really like this packaging. I've already told you that. So let's start off with the shade Elixir. This is supposed to be a warm pinky nude. And these are supposed to be very like glossy, shiny, but also very nourishing. So let's just see how they look. All right, here is the shade Elixir. Definitely a very light, warm pink, very glossy. Feels super nice on the lips, but let me pop on our next shade. Here is our shade Free Fall. This one is like translucent, maybe a little bit of like a cool toned base, but it has some sparkle to it, like, a little bit of a fine holographic silvery sparkle really really pretty i could definitely definitely see myself getting a lot of use out of this one and i want to layer it over a like a liquid lipstick but for these lip swatches i just wanted to show you how they look on their own even though i always wear like a lip liner or a lipstick underneath my glosses. I do think this one is super beautiful. Okay, here is our shade Hot Pursuit. Very glossy, pretty. It doesn't feel sticky. Like none of these feel sticky. They feel almost like a gloss oil hybrid. And I would say this is like a dusty rose type of color very pretty. I'm really feeling like good in this formula. Feels really like nourishing. Oh, I'm excited because I had a lot of like hope and expectation <laughs> for this because I really like Kaleidos lip formula. So I'm happy these are like living up to what I thought they would be. Okay, here I have on the shade Last Smoke. So definitely more purpley mauve, even more cool toned than the other. Very pretty. I like this one. I could see myself using that shade a lot as well, especially over like a mauve toned lip liner. Okay, let's try on Penthouse. This one is another sparkly shimmery one very pretty, almost like a pinky red base with lots of sparkle, a reflect to it. I definitely love a sparkly gloss. So the two that have these really beautiful like reflective shimmers are definitely my personal favorite so far. Okay, there we have the shade on the lips. Again, this is the shade Penthouse. Okay, this is the shade pink, pink, I can't, I can't read it, pink Marcus. So this one definitely has more pigment to it. I feel like more base pigment. It has a little bit of like this pearlescent shimmer to it. Definitely not super sparkly like the others, but this one's really beautiful, really pinky, really pretty. Last but not least, Skinny Dip. This one is more of a brown pinky nude, again, with a little bit of that pearlized shimmer to it. Super beautiful. So there are all the lip swatches. My lips are feeling comfortable. Nothing was like hard to take off. So my lips do not feel irritated. I am going to put on a liquid lipstick underneath and then I will be back. We'll quickly like round up my thoughts on this collection. Okay, y'all, here is my finished look. I did put back on the Free Fall lip gloss and I layered that over top of the lipstick Skinship, also from Kaleidos. And I threw on a little bit of my gifted multi-chrome highlighter. So I think everything in this collection is super beautiful. I love the quads. I think the formula is exactly what I expect from Kaleidos. Beautiful, pigmented, easy to work with, easy to blend, but impactful. I like the blushes. They're all very light, but the formula is what I expect from Kaleidos. Blendable and beautiful. Just the shades are light for my skin tone, but I still think I got a beautiful look. The glosses are the standout for me. Like these, this lip formula, 
this this is beautiful i am super excited to be wearing these i think they look so nice and plump and juicy if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up i will list everything i can in the description box i am excited to keep using these playing with these so thankful you're here i hope whatever you are doing you're having an absolutely amazing day and please do subscribe i have lots of videos coming for you this week and i will see you then bye Thank you.